Welcome to GSA Connects Cast. I'm here with two very special guests, Nick Setner and Scott Burns. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alana. So you were honored at the Presidential Address and Awards Ceremony where you were presented the Publications Award by the GSA President, Christopher. What was that like? Well, it was a really nice moment. Uh, it was a room full of very accomplished people and it was just an honor to be part of it. Did you anticipate that kind of experience or looking back at your career, did you expect to get an award like that? Well, to be totally honest, I kind of avoid those formal things. <laughs> I don't usually show up at those gigs, but the tone was really nice and the president was very inviting and uh, I was just uh, surrounded by folks who were at the top of their game. So I felt really lucky to be there. And for you, Scott, what was it, what prompted you to nominate Nick? First of all, I received the award 10 years ago and it's an outreach award uh, um, taking geology to the public and and so I am very involved in that all the time and then every year we're asked to nominate other people I said the guy who is doing the job in the Pacific Northwest of the United States and now all over the United States through public broadcasting and other things is Nick and I've been a fan of his because he does it well uh, he's very, very funny, he's very simple, and uh, he has a great following wherever he goes. And I said, I've got to nominate him. I had to nominate him three years in a row because there have been some very, very good people. And I, I went to him, he said, oh, no, I just, I'm not interested, I don't need to do that. But he did, uh, and uh, eventually. And then I said, I have to have a Vita from you. Well, he's so humble, his Vita, you know, academicians have 30, 40 pages, one page for him. He, is, he does not have the ego, but he has the service. He wants to go out and teach geology to everybody. Mm -hmm. See, Alana, you, you need a hype man in this world. And, and Scott is just, I mean, he, he does all of the stuff himself, but he's also just so generous with this kind of energy that propels so many people around him. So I'm lucky to be associated with him. All of us should be so lucky to have yes. someone who is our hype man. Exactly. But he's so good. And, and, and any time uh, uh, Nick Sentner's coming to town, give a talk, you're going to fill the uh, facility because everybody loves him. He has a great way of communicating everything in geology to people who are not geologists and, and, and also to the students. And so he, teaching at Central Washington University, he's got a great following there too. So he does it well and th this award deals with that. And he is the guy that uh, I was so ex excited that he accepted it. And uh, so I'm excited that he got it. Well, thank you, so Scott. So speaking of communication and acceptance, during your uh, acceptance speech, mm -hmm. what was the main message you want to convey to the audience? Well, I. I feel like the tone is such an important part of all of this communication. You know, if, if you have your facts and all of that, for most people at a conference like this, that's the most important thing. They want to make sure that they're being accurate. But the, the warmth and the invitation to anyone who wants to learn about something, that, that seems to be missing. And so, yeah, I put a lot of attention into the just trying not to present myself as the authority figure talking down to people on the other side of the camera. And so even in the acceptance speech, I tried to comment briefly on that, that I thought that there's a lot of people that would love to be at this conference. They would love to be part of this world. They're fascinated by it. And, um, and if, the, if the invitation is done with a certain consistency and warmth, then people just keep coming back. They just want to keep learning more. I'm not even sure it's about geology, to be honest with you. I think it's just about a community and being in a kind of a healthy place where they can be the best version of themselves. That's beautiful. And how do you feel nominating someone for this award changes your career or their career or the geosciences community? What kind of effect does that have? He does what I wish all geologists would do and reach out to the general public and say, Develop a new set of eyes wherever you go in the world. You, their, Mother Nature is shouting out to you. There's a story there. He does that really well. I've been doing that for years and you years. You do it very well, too. And uh, it is so much fun to go to a new place. I have a chance to travel all over the world. Uh, and I get off the plane or off the train or whatever. There's a story here. What is it? And it, as a geologist, you can interpret that. Mm -hmm. And he does it so well and so humbly. Uh, and I just love it. Uh, so I was so excited when he accepted uh, the award. So. And for you, how do you feel that this award changes your work, your career, your research? I don't know if it changes it, but it, it gives me uh, encouragement to continue. Mm -hmm. uh, 
most of what I do is just kind of off the grid and I do it my own way. And so uh, I, I don't look to organizations for validation, I guess. I just try to just keep doing my thing. Uh, but endorsements from, from Scott and others who kind of are saying, oh yeah, this guy's doing some important stuff. Um, it just wants me to keep going and I, uh, I will definitely be doing that. Well, it's been so wonderful to talk to both of you. I really appreciate you spending time with us and sharing your experience. Thank you a lot. Thank you very much. Okay.